Hi, my name is Joy Lake. When I was a teenager many years ago, someone told me Proverbs has 31 chapters in it, so it was like the days of the month. They said as part of their devotions each day, they read a chapter in Proverbs and a chapter in Psalms. I decided to break up the Psalms into monthly segments to coincide with the Proverbs. It takes five months to read through Psalms the way I mapped it out for myself, and I chose to keep Psalm 119 whole, so that day's devotional reading will be much longer than usual, but it'll be worth it. I also chose to put a psalm as the 31st and the 1st on some to get the division to balance out at the end of the fifth month. I hope you enjoy reading a psalm and a proverb each day with me. I'm using the NLT version because it's my coloring Bible and I love it. You can start wherever you want. I usually see what today's date is and start there. You can start with month one and go straight through all five months or pick any month and look back around when you get to the end. And remember, if something I read doesn't sit well with you, talk to God about it. He wants to speak to you whenever you want to visit with him, especially when your heart and mind don't agree with him or understand his viewpoint. He loves spending time with you. He created you. He loves you. Let's begin. Proverbs 2. My child, listen to what I say and treasure my commands. Tune your ears to wisdom and concentrate on understanding. Cry out for insight and ask for understanding. Search for them as you would for silver. Seek them like hidden treasures. Then you will understand what it means to fear the Lord, and you will gain knowledge of God. For the Lord grants wisdom. From his mouth come knowledge and understanding. He grants a treasure of common sense to the honest. He is a shield to those who... Who walk with integrity. He guards the paths of the just and protects those who are faithful to him. Then you will understand what is right, just, and fair, and you will find the right way to go. For wisdom will enter your heart and knowledge will fill you with joy. Wise choices will watch over you. Understanding will keep you safe. Wisdom will save you from evil people, from those whose words are twisted. These men turn from the right way to walk down the dark paths. They take pleasure in doing wrong, and they enjoy the twisted ways of evil. Their actions are crooked, and their ways are wrong. Wisdom will save you from the immoral woman, from the seductive words of the promiscuous woman. She has abandoned her husband and ignores the covenant she made before God. Entering her house leads to death. It is the road to the grave. The man who visits her is doomed. He will never reach the paths of life. So follow the steps of the good and stay on the paths of the righteous. For only the godly will live in the land, and those with integrity will remain in it. But the wicked will be removed from the land, and the treacherous will be uprooted. Psalm 2. Why are the nations so angry? Why do they waste their time with futile plans? The kings of the earth prepare for battle. The rulers plot together against the Lord and against his anointed one. Let us break their chains, they cry, and free ourselves from slavery to God. But the one who rules in heaven laughs, the Lord scoffs at them. Then in anger he rebukes them, terrifying them with his fierce fury. For the Lord declares, I have placed my chosen king on the throne in Jerusalem, on my holy mountain. The king proclaims the Lord's decree. The Lord said to me, You are my son. Today I have become your father. Only ask and I will give you the nations as your inheritance. The whole earth is your possession. You will break them with an iron rod and smash them like clay pots. Now then, you kings, act wisely. Be warned, that you rulers of the earth. Serve the Lord with reverent fear and rejoice with trembling. Submit to God's royal son, or he will become angry, and you will be destroyed in the midst of all your activities. For his anger flares up in an instant. But what joy for all who take refuge in him. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much for creating us. Thank you for wanting to spend time with us. Please help us to trust and obey you. Please open our eyes and our hearts to you and your word. And please help us understand when we don't understand what you're saying or we don't like what you're saying. Pray, Lord, that you would give us your insight and your holiness as we try to understand and that you would give us discernment and wisdom as we try to understand your heart, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen.